I think it's worth reminding ourselves what we mean uh, by the golden age of gas. Now, the IEA coined this phrase, meaning that we're in entering an age where gas is affordable, increasingly abundant, secure, and with a lower carbon intensity than the other fossil fuels. Now, technology uh, means that we can now access vast quantities of unconventional gas. And uh, as you've heard a couple of times today, uh, 250 years of supply at uh, the current rates of production. But the challenges of this golden age are quite significant, and in particular, a point that Frank made quite clearly about our license to operate as an industry, setting standards uh, in which we self-regulate our own performance. Of course, we're seeing very strong uh, global gas demand uh, around the world, 2.6% uh, around uh, to, to, to 2025. So this sets us a big uh, supply challenge uh, as we look forward. And of course, as we all know, LNG will play an increasing part uh, in this mix. Uh, last year, it was 10% of all gas consumed. It's expected to be 14% in just over 10 years' time. So a significant increase uh, in our business. So uh, I want to consider three broad questions. The first is, and I think it was set quite nicely by Frank's remarks, can we meet this enormous supply challenge? With the extra volumes we are going to have to deliver to just 2020, uh, it's not going to be easy. So what do we see as suppliers as the major challenges to delivering uh, these volumes? Of course, there's a lot of noise around US exports. There's a lot of noise around exports from East Africa. But as an industry, as we all know, we have a habit of overestimating our ability to deliver. Are we indeed doing the same again? So this supply will put an enormous strain on financial uh, and human resources. And we'll talk about that in the way we take the questions today. Do we have, as an industry, the capability to deliver these projects and become uh, take on these new technological and indeed cost uh, challenges. The second is it's clear that the increase, the geographical focus of our industry is changing. Our customers are changing. India and China are changing their demand, increasing their demand and changing the way we think about supply. So a 1% increase, just to put this in context, in gas in the fuel mix in China equals 25 uh, BCM of uh, gas. So how do we think this shift will change the way we think uh, about the business and how we work in our industry? The third issue is the way we as an industry operate. We've always proved ourselves to be flexible and responsive to the needs of our customers. And as we see this LNG industry evolving uh, to the, perhaps the point in some decades of uh, global fungibility, what do we think the challenges are that we will need to meet the needs of those customers, ultimately the reason we are producing gas in the first place? 